What's going on YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co-host, Tanea. Hey, guys. It is Scandal Thursday, and I got yes, one is. thing to say. What in the f*** is wrong WTA. with Shonda WTA. Rhymes? Oh, my goodness. What the hell just happened? OMG. Tanea. What? Go ahead and talk. I gotta get the truck. Okay, so we just watched this um, really, really, really good and juicy and formative episode of Scandal. Like, you literally learned so much in this one episode. All things that I already knew what was going to happen, I said in every show on Thursday. Can you turn this down so I can stop yelling? Um, I said every Thursday, Shonda Rhimes need to get me on her team because I just already know what's going on. At any rate, we watch it and it starts off with, um, I really can't remember because I was still cooking dinner. Okay, it starts off with a flashback oh, from when, oh, um, yes. um, 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 they went in bed together. Basically, when Melly and Fitz, their relationship was fresh, they were already married, and they were in love, and it starts off with like, you know, a little morning sex scene. Thank God that it wasn't what I thought it was going to be because I already knew last week that it was going to be a sex scene between Fitz and Melly and um okay so it basically shows like how it started up about him becoming governor and his father pushing him because at some point he didn't even want to do it mm -hmm. long story short y'all Melly done got raped by Big Jerry yes and y'all remember Big Jerry from the trial the oldest kid is his kid look you she uh, I'm just saying I mean we already assuming that but I'm damn to nail. it could be she, he raped her, and not too long after he raped her, Melly found out that she was pregnant. Yeah. Um, Quinn, y'all know, mm, this crazy. know how I feel about Quinn. Quinn, then still hanging with Charlie. Lost Charlie then asked mind. her, did she want to go on a little date. date? They go on their little date. They kiss. She, he's like, you know, I got this job to do. He but, um, sucks her ass, basically. You know, do you want to go knock out the security cameras for me? And she's like, he's like, never mind. And she's like, what do you mean, never mind? Like, I've tortured somebody for her. What are you doing telling people that? She's too thirsty. I can't stand her. Anyway, she falls right into the trap. He gives her the M99 and needles. To go knock the security guard out. They knock, she knocks the security guard out because remember he's supposed to come in like right after she does this. He don't he don't come. He can't show him. up. She goes to the other side of the desk. He's bleeding out the mouth. He's foaming from she the didn't mouth. Kill and then it's he's not dead. in ninety nine. It's like She's like touching him. She's looking at her hand. She's like, you know. She didn't touch him. She didn't touch the goddamn desk. She didn't touch the door. She didn't touch so much shit. Like can't, she can't. First of all, she's not thinking because we all know Quinn can't have fingerprints anywhere. Okay, cause she dodged that bullet. Pretty. Shout out to Olivia Pope and Burna. Rest Burn in peace. and Burna's ass is gone. Okay, so. She's like the next scene. She's like hiding behind something, trying to call Huck. And then next thing you know, Charlie comes. And he's like, "You don't want to do that. You're a part of B613 now. Welcome to Wonderland." Quinn, Quinn is a part of B613, people. Because she went. But what I feel like is, um, Daddy Pope might hold Quinn as leverage. Oh wait, 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 wait. You, you oh. got wait. You can't go there yet. Okay, so it starts. First of all. Can I give a shout out to Lim Paolo? You know who Lim Paolo is? No. Lim Paolo is the designer of everybody's outfit that on the show. Whole, that whole, that, that first thing coat by Dior, baby. Don't ask me why I wear something. this shirt every week. I will wear awesome. this shirt every it week. It looks so awesome good. I love I want that coat. Olivia Pope. I can't afford you it, did but that. I want it. That black coat, you did that. With that white breast? Okay, so anyway, we start up, no. Actually, no, 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 no. I was saying, I meant to say, we messed up. It starts off with Olivia and Fitz talking on the phone. Talking on the phone. Look, and it doesn't matter. You go over. Y'all know how he like the. Anyway. I mean, she like to pretend that she don't mind answer the damn Baby phone. Girl left. When that Fitz phone rang, she was like, Nah, you have that. And walked out the door. The door even shut, y'all. Five seconds later, she was flying through that damn door. Come, Come through the door. Get on the phone with him. He's basically still telling her, you know, stop looking into into Remington. You need to stay away from Jake. He's dangerous. 
You think Liv listens? No. Fitz is like, I love you. She's like, so what? I thought I knew everything about you. You're a stranger to me. Breaks Fitz's heart. Goes to OPA. Get there. Him, I mean, Liv, um, Liv, Jake, and Huck are all waiting for the team to get there. They get there. She spills the beans. My mother, the plane, Fitz, everything that we know, she tells the team. They, find, they keep digging, 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 finding out that there were extra people on the plane, finding out that somebody was taken off of the plane, you know, getting all the juicy details. They find out they had one connect to try to find out what happened. And guess what? The, who the connect was? The goddamn person that Quinn killed. And bam! So Jake. What a co winky name. Jake gets to the scene. Jake calls Liv, like, oh my god. You know, because Jake was on his way to go say something to him. Oh my god, he's dead. Papa Pope, that nigga, for real. He is always five steps ahead of Jake's dumb ass. I want him to take Jake and put him in a hole, then kill him. Okay. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Fitz then found out that Rowan, oh, wait a minute, because Fitz is doing exactly what the hell he was doing last time, got one of his boys surveillance and um olivia pope which we all know is gonna piss her off mm -hmm. when she finds out i don't think it's cameras in the apartment though right no but at least there's someone who he know like won't fall in love with Liv this time or True she that. won't fall in love with him because she tried to bail her mm -hmm. anyway she's going through the he's going he through the file because she's he's also the person that's looking i mean surveillance and live is actually going through i mean researching you know stuff or whatever <gasps> he's flipping the pages and he's like yeah we got one good picture of the father it's really hard to get a picture of him he sees what it is of course we already know rowan is the father you just saw uh fitz his is like, face when he found out fitz is like having a breakdown meanwhile we're watching um daddy pope Go through all these security clearances and codes and fingerprints mm -hmm. to get we back. We think he about to go, he you know, to a jail cell, get, get to the bed, or whatever his name is. And lo and behold, who's in the bed in the damn... I don't think it's a jail. I think it's a crazy house, to be honest. She looks look like crazy. a nut. Olivia Pope's mother is still alive, people. I, but I told y'all that. But hold on. Is there something wrong with her? Because usually on the next season, they got things in her nose to help her breathe. Olivia Pope's mother is alive, people. I mean, I'm trying to, you know, pretend that I'm surprised. I'm not really surprised. Sometimes I think of these things that could possibly happen, but then I think to myself, no, Shonda. Shonda won't take us that far. Shonda's not going to take us that far. Okay, people. Let's talk about what we learned in this episode. Nellie was raped by Fitz's father. Ooh, shocker. Um, Olivia Pope's mother is still alive. Not really too much of a shocker. Quinn is now a killer. And she's in B613. That's not too much of a shocker. I said that last season. Um, something else happened. Fitz found out who, the, who the, um, her father was. I knew that was coming. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we obviously we knew that was coming. So many things we... Hold on, but can we talk about... Um, let's not forget about Melly and Cyrus. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Trying to set up... Poor redhead's firecrotch husband, and come to find out, he don't even like girls. That's why he don't like Sally. Oh, wait a minute. James got fired. And James no. got fired. We don't know why yet, but James got fired. I mean, obviously he's gonna get his job back. Of course, his husband is Cyrus Bean. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm figuring. You know, they're they're trying to get this process. You, you said that right? Mm -hmm. Try to get the process to yeah. That's what the the blah, 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 because we all know that um her husband Daniel Douglas has wandering hands. We done found out he about to try to get up in James Cookies, and y'all yeah. know that Cyrus. He is a fudge packer. Cyrus. I don't want to see that. I don't want to. You see think that. how Cyrus might make James do it? I think he might make him do it. Just that's how it. ruthless he is. That's how dedicated he is to this White House. And even though he is a mess, you gotta respect him and love him for it because he loves his job. Yeah, we also um got to talk see about freaking team spirit, people. Old Cyrus. Ugh, he with looks a like a porcupine. And brown hand. Can I just tell y'all how much I hate, 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 hate Big Jerry? Hold on, but did y'all peep that when um Cyrus said something about? Something, something, something. If I wanted to do that, I would go such and such my wife. Yeah, yeah. Cyrus had a former wife. He played. 
The, you know what? The director came on Twitter actually and said, "Who would y'all like to see as Cyrus's wife?" I should have answered. Oh, this is real. So he was lying. No, he really had a wife. Probably yeah. Come on, I want to hear that. You know that they been in the closet see a, in the beginning. I want to see a man in drag as his wife. Okay, so a tranny. Now that I've told you everything that happened in this crazy episode, because I already knew this was about to happen. It's called episode. It's episode seven. It's called Everything's Coming Up, Melly. It was basically like the 752 of Melly. Yeah, that was the one that's the next episode, episode 308, is called Vermont is for Lovers 2. So, predictions for next week's episode. I don't know. Because I don't know what's going through Sean Rhyme's life. That, um Yeah, I don't know what's gonna go on either. Like this is cray cray. I do feel like excuse me. Um being that whole Vermont is for lovers thing, I'm trying to think about it. And maybe, but Vermont is where, like, once they aren't president anymore, that's where they gonna live, right? I don't know. Isn't it? Like, I don't um, Like, up north somewhere? It's up north, but I don't know. Only thing I know about Vermont is that's where um, Fitz and Olivia want to retire when they finally get to be together. Yeah, so, you Make know. Jam. Maybe he might go mix some jam with Melly. I don't know, but listen, never sus that title means nothing to me. True ski. I, I mean, mean the, and, oh yeah, and they did. Um, Fitz was taken up for. Um, you know what? I can't even lie, y'all. I might see Melly in a whole different life. Can I tell you something? I was because about she to. She has been through a lot. I was about to, and she has been through a lot for Fitz, and it seems as though. Fitz isn't, you know, as appreciative and as grateful as he should be. But he and maybe know he's, she's and I'm saying maybe he would be more appreciative and grateful if he knew it. So you can't really be like, oh, poor Melly, bitch, you should have told. Like, I don't want to hear that. Because I feel like you wasn't fighting Jerry hard enough. Me too. Because at one point you stayed still. At no point when I stay. And then it come to think, and Fitz was upstairs. I could say if Fitz wasn't in the house. I would have knocked the table over, sofa would have been over, I would have bit Big Jerry, I probably would have had a black eye, like it would have been some real stuff, like she didn't fight hard enough, not saying she wanted it, I'm not saying she wanted it, but I just feel like she didn't fight hard enough, well, and then I would have went upstairs and told. Right, she didn't tell, so Fitz never knew any of this would happen, but... Um, in this episode, Melly's doing like this big interview to try to basically, you know, we're trying to get him back reelected. So she's doing an interview of like a behind the scenes of the White House. And she basically gets drunk again and she tells him like, I need you to be there for me. You know, like, even though we hate Melly, Melly has taken a lot. I mean, yes, let's she be real. She swallows a lot of pills, even though she did. About a lot of these that pills interview. she bring on herself. That's true. But she said, this rape incident, y'all, my mouth was on the floor. I know y'all mouth was yeah. on the floor. My mouth was on the floor. A lot of a lot of Melly's, you, and that's why a lot of times I don't feel bad for Melly because even though she does have, she has to do a lot of stuff. She swallows a lot of pills. A lot of this mess she makes for herself, so she has to swallow it because she has to fix it because she after that. I mean. I really don't know what to say about the next episode. They did show a couple of clips. I, it did show Liv's mother saying, "I want to see my daughter." And it shows him showing her like pictures of who oh, Olivia also Pope said, is. You better make it happen, Rowan. So I mean, I don't know. Still, y'all, I still don't trust Jake. I don't know why. I just don't trust them. I don't. Me I don't trust them. I don't trust them either. Um, this was by far the best episode of season three. Yes, definitely, definitely. And Shonda, we trust. I told y'all. Did not tell y'all. To be patient and wait on it. And Shonda, we trust. I wish Beyonce would take the damn clue. Okay, before you go there. Uh -oh. Person of the week, me first. 100%, without a doubt, Bellamy Young, a.k.a. Melly. Melly, you... I want to talk about Bellamy first. Bellamy was on Wendy Williams today. And I'm so glad because a lot of people don't watch... Oh, I gotta hurry up because um, Kerry Washington is on Chelsea lately. A lot of people don't get to see what Bellamy Young is really like. You know, everybody sees Kerry Washington and Columbus Short. They don't know who Bellamy Young is. She hasn't started a lot of things. She is the sweetest, nicest person. And that was a really, really good scene. I mean, a whole good episode for her. That was an Emmy Award episode. Shout out to Melly. Um, I'm starting to feel like that I might start liking you. I don't know. It's too early I'm to not. tell. Person of the week. My person of the week is definitely Quinn. What I just... 
I'm not can you be so fucking boots. dumb? Like, how dumb can you be, Quinn? Oh, she like, you it. really, really, really trusted Charlie? I don't, I can't. I just can't deal. All I got to say is, if you're not watching Scandal yet, what are you doing? Yep, shout out to everybody who's watching Scandal, everybody who we're getting to watch Scandal. You know, just jump on this Scandal. Shout Dang. out to the gladiators. Thanks Woo-hoo. for tuning in Gladiators are bitches, and I'm definitely a gladiator. Okay. Right here. So, I'm thankful for whoever's watching this right now. Share it with somebody. Let me know how you felt about the episode. We will be here every Thursday. If this is your first time watching it, thumbs up this video or dislike it. Tell us what you didn't like. Tell us what you did like. Right above us, hit that yellow subscribe button. And we will be back here as every Thursday to review my favorite show ever. Scandal, scandal, scandal. And as long as we have a And if you didn't know, now you know. There's no show like the show. Gotta go watch Carrie watch shit on Chelsea lately. Peace. I'm about to do something else.